Hi everybody. This is part three to today's supplemental lesson on velocity versus time graphs. Here you see that I have a velocity versus time graph. Below it, I have sketched axes for a position versus time graph. I want to fill in this position versus time graph using information that I obtained from the velocity versus time graph. The first thing I'm going to do is help myself out a little bit. I'm going to make a bunch of dotted lines to help me line up the different time segments of this graph. So here, 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 and here. Oops, let me fix that one. And this one. Okay, great. The only thing that these dotted lines do is help me draw the correct time intervals on my position versus time graph down here. So let's begin. First, let's say this is from time zero. This line here represents time zero. This is time one, time two, time three, and time four. Let's continue. For the first part of my moon from time zero to time one, I see that this object is moving with a positive velocity of five meters per second. Since I know that velocity in a position versus time graph is represented by slope, I know that my line from time zero to time one will have a slope of positive five. There you go. Now, this is just a sketch, so try the best you can. Here, my line is clearly going in a positive direction from time zero to time one. Great. Now, just something to note. I really didn't know where my object started. It never gave me an initial starting point. So here, I'm just going to say that wherever it started, that's where it started from. And so I'm going to label this x naught. Okay, let's continue. From time 1 to time 2, the velocity is 0. So that means that on my position versus time graph, the slope of my line in this interval is going to be 0. Another word for a line with a 0 slope is a horizontal line. So it's just going to go straight across. OK, done with that. And my next, next interval from time 2 to time 3, I see that my velocity is negative 5. That means that the line that I have to draw from time 2 to time 3 in my position versus time graph is going to have a slope of negative 5. There you go. Now you clearly see it going down, and that means it has a negative slope, because it's going from higher to lower. All right, let's finish this off. Finally, we see from time 3 to time 4, it has a velocity of negative 2. Now I know that the line is still going to go down, but the slope is less, so it's not going to be as slanted. So from time 3 to time 4, I'm still going to draw a line in the negative direction, but not as steep as from time 2 to time 3. So that's not a slanted. So for this movement, I've just sketched a position versus time graph. Now, this doesn't have to be exact. A sketch still gets the idea through, and I don't have to label all individual points on the timeline. Thanks for